guys, this is me, Aiden. And today, I'm gonna make a video of drawing a food chain. So, I'm gonna draw three different food chains. And those of you who haven't, who don't know what food chains are, I'm glad you're watching this. So here, I put in three groups in one paper to make a food chain. The first group are, is the food chain on land, on the ground. Second group is in the swamps or lakes and rivers. Third group is in the ocean, the largest bodies of water. So I'm gonna start with the land food chains. Land food chain usually starts with grass. Let me just drop this here. And we'll label it at the side. There. Grass. That's what land food chains usually start with. Now, what we'll eat grass? Like grasshoppers. Okay, next. Grasshoppers. They're eaten by, let's say, wolf spiders. What are wolf spiders eaten by? Uh, let's say red wasps. I got a few spaces left. Okay. So, then the red wasp is eaten by another animal. So, what animal should that be? How about brown bats? There. Brown bats. Okay. Now, what eat brown bats? How about badgers? What animal eats the badger? How about golden eagles? Thank you. 
What animal eats the golden eagle? No animal eats the golden eagle. So that means golden eagles are top predator. That means no animals eat them. They're apex. So that's my land food chain. Grass, grasshoppers, wolf spiders, red wasps, brown bats, badgers, and golden eagle. How about swamp food chains? In the swamp, there's more water plants than land plants. So let's start with algae. guys we're back and since thanks to the magic of pausing videos while you're making them I corrected my spelling of algae without you guys having to see it so algae is a kind of water plant in the swamps and lakes and rivers algae let's see it gets eaten by how about say tadpoles that breathe guy that breathe by gills Tadpoles get eaten by, let's say, sunfish. See, it looks like that. Sunfish gets eaten by. What animal? Let's say. How about? Hmm. A uh, largemouth bass. Just a jaw just behind the eye. There we go. What do you think largemouth bass get eaten by? How about ospreys? A fish eating hawk. Forgot to label them, sorry. Large mouth bass. Osprey. That is swamp food chains. Last up, the ocean food chains. Ocean food chains usually start as animals, at plants, not animals, plants. All food chains start with plants, because plants make their own food. Animals can make their own food, so you have to get energy from the plants. The herbivores will eat the plants. Then the carnivores or omnivores will eat the herbivores. Then it keeps on going until the top predator. Right now, moving to the ocean, the largest bodies of water. It usually starts with the small plant-like animals called Phytoplankton. Phytoplankton. Phytoplankton is a microscopic plant that lives down there in the deep, and it lives in the sea, where the sun is shining, so that it can get a lot of, so that it can make its food. They just float around. Phytoplankton 
is eaten by a herbivore that's almost that's just a little bit bigger than the phytoplankton itself this animal is called zooplankton So plankton. So, zooplankton is a microscopic herbivore that eat that eats a microscopic plant called phytoplankton. Then, it gets eaten by a bigger animal. Another species that lives in the plankton family. Jellyfish eat the zooplankton. From phytoplankton to zooplankton to jellyfish, there are there are three of the members that that stay in the plankton family. Jellyfish are the largest members of the plankton, visible by the naked eye. It seems impossible, oh, but yes, jellyfish are in the family of the plankton. Can be as large as your fist, or as big as a washing machine. Was that a washing machine I showed you guys? Yeah, it was. That thing over there. Yeah, that was a washing machine. Okay. So, like I said, they can grow from various to your size, your fist, or the washing machine. I'm not going to show you guys it again. Next up, what eat the jellyfish? Leatherback sea turtles. They have some nice designs on their shell. Oh, so. And like and not and like every sea turtle, leatherback sea and like every sea turtle turtle, leatherbacks cannot put their bo whole bodies inside them sh their shells. So you might be asking, what did they how did they use their shell? That's easy. When a predator like a shark comes by, the turtle will face his shell towards its jaws. So the shark ends up biting the tur shell, the hard shell instead of the soft skin. What eat leatherback sea turtles? Tiger sharks for an example. A jaw, despite jaw size, tiger sharks have jaws stronger than a great white shark's jaws. Now you might be asking, what's why is that line under the tiger shark? When you see that line, uh, you see me draw that line. That means the animal is going to be eaten by another animal, like. The sunfish, the line down there means he's being eaten by the largemouth bass that it's pointing to. So what animal eats tiger sharks? The same animal that eats at least 70, seven, the same animal that eats the tiger sharks is the same animal that eats, that will eat 70% of everything in the sea. From the, the largest dolphin, surprisingly, yes. The killer whale, the largest dolphin is the master hunter because of its team because of teamwork size and even strength they can take out sharks like great whites and tiger sharks they're also called orcas so there you have it a perfect food chain if you want to make your own you can if you want to copy mine you can in the land we got grass it's eaten by the grasshopper it's eaten by the wolf spiders what are eaten by red wasps 
who are eaten by brown bats. And then they're eaten by American badgers. Then they're eaten by golden eagles. Then they're eaten by algae. So I guys got messed up. Golden eagles don't get eaten by algae. I moved on to the next food chain by accident. So American badger, then golden eagle. Golden eagles are apex predators. That means no animals eat them. Algae is eaten by tadpoles. It's eaten by sunfish. You might eh, freshwater sunfish, not the ocean sunfish. Freshwater sunfish. They get eaten by largemouth bass. Then ospreys. Ospreys are the apex predator because no animal eats them. Ospreys. Then the ocean food chain, we get microscopic phytoplankton as the plant. Microscopic zooplankton eats the phytoplankton. Jellyfish eat the zooplankton. Leatherback sea turtles eat the jellyfish. Tiger sharks eat the leatherbacks. And killer whales, also known as the orca, will eat the tiger sharks. Because killer whales are top predator. No animal eats them. You may think sharks were top predator before. It's the killer whale who's top predator. Wolf of the sea can take out a shark. So there you have it, guys. A perfectly good food chain for you. If you wanted advice, if you want, and you wanted to know what a food chain is, you've you looked at the right video. And I'll see you guys on my next drawing. See ya!